Hey guys, it's Hogan here, and in this video, I wanna make a super quick one to show you guys how to screenshot your page, and then you can actually input that screenshot onto your WordPress website or any website that you want. So for example, if you go to elemental.com, you'll see that they are showcasing their product by using a GIF, okay? So I'll also show you how to do that as well. Um, same thing over here. So they've screenshotted their page and they've displayed it onto their website to explain a specific point, right? So you can see it on a lot of different websites where, you know, people are showcasing their product and you got, you got arrows and you got things like that. You can also add in text as well. So it's actually really, really simple to do. So I'll leave the link in the description, um, but it's actually called Get Cloud App. So go to that website and just sign up for free, download it onto your computer and install it. And then you should have a little sort of cloud icon on the top over here. Okay, so click on that. And then all you need to do is you can also record certain recordings, which you can, you know, show people a problem that you're having. Uh, you can also use the capture function. So for example, we can just capture this section, right? So we might want to make a blog post and I want to explain to you um, how to use this software, right? I'll just capture it like that. And that's going to upload to the cloud server and that's going to pop up. Now we can draw in our arrows. So step number one, just download it here like that. We can also add in some text if we want to. So we could do like click here like that. And then we can arrange the text. Uh, I like this function over here. We can um, click that and then we can just blur things out. And this one over here is really cool as well. We can point people to a certain area. Okay. So once you're done, then we can just click on share and that's going to upload to the server and then they're going to give you a URL. So open a new tab. And then once that um, uploads, we can just paste that in over here. Okay, that's done. And we can actually share this with anyone as well in case you want to, you know, share it with your friends or anything like that. So we can download it onto our computer. Okay, so let's save it onto our computer. Now that's going to save as a PNG file and you don't really want to upload that file because it's too big, right? So you want to go to something like photo.com edit a photo and then here we want to resize it and also save it as a JPEG. So we're just going to upload that onto here like that. And generally for if you're writing like a blog post like this, you don't want it to be anything more than about a thousand pixels in width. So here we're going to click on resize and we're going to change this to a thousand. Okay. And the height is going to resize automatically. So make sure that is set to the lock. Okay. Click on apply and then we can click on save instead of PNG. Okay, so that's 81 kilobytes. JPEG is gonna be smaller, okay, 61. So if you have a lot of these, then it's gonna take up a lot of space. So you wanna always save as a JPEG and then just click on download. Okay, so that's on your computer. Now you can upload it onto your website. So you can also do a um, GIF as well really easily. Just click on the icon again, select GIF. Okay, so let's just say select region. We want to select this region over here. Perhaps I want to show them how to um, do something. Okay. And then click on start. Okay. And then we can just hover over here like that. And we can click on download. All right. Click on finish and that's going to upload. Okay. So it's super quick if you have fast internet and then, yeah, we can just draw something, maybe something like this, like that as well. It's really up to you what you do. Um, but I think this is really, really useful tool and you can actually put this on your website right now. So I'm just going to click over here. And another thing I want to show you is what if you want to, um, do something like this, where you sort of screenshot the whole entire page, right? So you can actually just do it using this thing. But if you want to screenshot the whole entire page, what we can do is download something called, I think it's called the go full page. Okay. So it's a Chrome extension. And once you click on it, it's going to basically capture the whole entire page, right? So you can actually use it um, to, if you're like a web designer or something like that, you can actually uh, capture the entire page and then you can use it as inspiration, right? So you can easily see how the page looks and compare it to your own web design as well. Or, you know, you can do a lot of things with it. You can like crop it and then you can display it on your website and things like that. So I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to make a super quick video because I thought it was helpful. Um, if you did find it helpful, make sure to give a big thumbs up and see you guys in the next video. Thank you.